Oh my gosh. So a little bit ago, I was doing some 3x3 races with a friend, and we came across this scramble. So the first thing I see is this right here. If you can see this block of blue, white, and orange. All you have to do here is an R prime to make a 2x2 block on the white cross here. So I wasn't videoing at the time, but I decided to get my camera out and start videoing, just in case I got like a really good solve or something. So then I continued inspecting this scramble, and I couldn't really find what I would do after this X cross for white, but I did see something else. If you put orange on the bottom, as if you are going to do orange cross, then you see we have this nice F12 pair right here. It's um, the orange, blue, and yellow F12 pair. So all you have to do is U prime and then R prime to make this absolutely huge block. It's almost a double X cross, except you don't have this orange cross piece in yet. So I knew that white cross would be a safe bet to get a really nice solve, but orange cross was even better, a two move double X cross. So I was pondering this for a while, deciding if I was going to go for orange cross, which I basically can't do. It was super risky, because if I do this orange double X cross like that, then I knew that after that it would take me a while to recognize the next F2L pair, since I almost never do orange cross. So the friend that I was racing with had already done this solve, and he got a 9 second solve, which was his new PB. So finally I decided to do orange cross, so here's my solution. I put orange on the bottom and yellow on the front. So like I said, if you do U prime and R prime, you have this giant double X cross, except for this orange uh, edge piece. So after I would made this, I did rotation, and I saw this was the orange and green cross piece that goes right here. So I inserted it like this for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. So then I saw this yellow and orange cross piece, and if I had inserted it like this, then this double X cross would have been broken because the corner wouldn't be there anymore. So instead I just did it the hard way and inserted it with some end moves like that. So next, there was just two more F2L pairs to solve. So it took me a while to recognize them because I almost never do orange cross. I'm terrible at it because I'm not color neutral. But I did see that this was the next one and it was pretty easy. Just insert that pair like that. And over here, the next two F12 pieces are already connected like that. So I can just insert them like this. And then I did two look OLL. A U and then a soon. And another U and a Y perm with no AUF. So that was my 12.73 solution. I'm just super surprised that I actually got a PB and orange cross though. So that's all for this video. Remember if you like what you see or if you want to see more videos like this, then just subscribe and hit the notification bell.